Hi, this is Sir Steve, and this is my video on Linux Mint 11. And what and what I'm doing is teaching Linux Mint 11 to read. Well, I'm showing you how to teach Linux Mint 11 to read. And how to do that is to uh, go down and install the program Wine. And then you need to um, go to the site readplease.com and install the program readplease2003 and download it. Um, this, this is also an interesting program called Reading Bar, but it only works on Internet Explorer. I haven't tried to emulate it in Windows. I don't like Explorer anyway. But download Read Please 2003 and then go ahead and install it. And you're going to go to computer. And then you're going to go to your downloads. Usually it's right there. Um, and then I've gone ahead and I've downloaded Read Please right here. Um, and then you would click on this to uh, install it and go ahead and get it to run and then when it when it sets up it um, let me clear the desktop here when it sets up it, it has an icon here read please free read please plus these two this one here reads two or three pages it's free this one here costs about thirty dollars it's the one I use um, and it um, reads an unlimited amount of text and I've selected this site, rents.com, and this first article here is opened. And this site here has a lot of garbage characters in it, and that's why I've selected it. Um, and I can just go ahead and copy this article that I want to have read. And I can go ahead and I'll paste it into Read, please. I'm opening Read, please. Um, let me show you what I've done here. I've gone ahead and um, put read, please. Um, I've gone ahead and, and dragged read, please, onto the taskbar here. Um, and um, I've also used Firefox Explorer, and I dragged that from the from the uh, menu of the favorites here. You can dr drop and drag it right on drop and drag it right on here and from here and uh, so we've got uh, read please open and um, I've gone ahead and set up read please um, under tools options um, pretty much left it the way it was one thing you'll want to change is in the uh, the document down here and you want to click start with a blank document otherwise it, it tries to read all that other stuff and then you'll say okay and then the rest of these options um the pronunciations maybe is interesting um i've gone ahead these are the two most common garbage characters that that read please reads and then i've pasted them in and typed an equal sign after them and not typed nothing so it's to read nothing if it sees that and then I've also changed the word dr period, which read please always tries to read as drive, to equal doctor, and it it pronounces the word drive as as doctor now instead of drive, <laughs> drives you nuts. Okay, so those are some things you'll want to change in read please, and this is your speed here in read please, and uh, your font size here, um, and your voices here you change your voices um, Mary is the most audible one it's the one that it comes with pre-installed um, selected already um, so um, I've copied the article and I'm going to go ahead and hit control V and paste it in 
Um, oh, I don't need to do that. Well, I'm going to hit Control A and Delete, and I'll do it. For, I'm going to show you the shortcut here. Um, controls. If you'll just hit what you've copied, and you'll just select Paste and Play, it'll read. Please, will start reading it right away. And I'll show you the garbage characters it's going to try to read. Now, most websites don't have any garbage characters. It just depends on which ones you're visiting. Um, you know, if you're copying email or something, you won't get any garbage, or out of write, you won't get any garbage. Um, Sunday, June 26, 2011, number radiation in Japan. Government wants to offer Japan seafood to developing nations. As part of the ODA, official development assistance under the ministry. Okay, I'm going to stop that. I don't see too many garbage characters here. Um, a lot of times it'll read apostrophes as garbage characters, but now here's like the, the Japanese part in it, and it just... Like, you know, you saw it in Japanese before, and it's not even going to try to speak Japanese or anything. It's just going to read all these U's and things like that. Um, so, but um, you've heard how um, Read Please Reads. I'll go ahead and start it again and play it a few seconds here. The government plan for the international aid programs for the 2011 fiscal year left square bracket that started in April one right square bracket became known on June 26th. I'm hitting the, the down arrow key. Over. The plan states that the government will purchase the and processed seafood from the areas affected by the March 11 earthquake and offer them to developing nations, and that it will make it the utmost priority to utilize the order for the recovery of the international down, see, community. I'll Under go plan, to zero, which is where it starts. This is real slow here. In the affected areas to counter the baseless rumors, left square bracket of radiation contamination, right square bracket. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there because it's going to start reading all this stuff, and I'll close read, please. And now I'm going to show you how to make it read perfectly. And what I've done was I've already opened the program LibreOffice Writer. And I'm just holding my pinky down on the control key. And I'm going to hit V A C. -C. Ah. Here, let me start over here. Control A X. I'm going to control V A X, sorry. <laughs> you vax it. That's what you do. You put your pinky down, you control VAX, and I do this real fast when I'm not making a video. And then you just come down here, and I open and close read please every time. That's why I have it in the as a as a quick start, and um, um, that way it doesn't give me any problems crashing. It never crashes. If I leave it open, it may crash. Um, the my operating system and I don't want it to do that so it just takes an extra second and a half and then I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, um, show you right now um, control we'll hit the paste and play and then I'll Sunday, stop it June 26 <laughs> that's so slow I got that drives me nuts let's see if we can up I guess you have to be in here to do it Usually it doesn't. Oh, it's. I guess it won't read, do it while it's reading. You'll have to hit stop, and or maybe I froze it or something. But see now, it just reads all that Japanese garbage characters as a as a uh, um, as a couple of question marks and things, instead of all that you saw. You know all that code and stuff in there. Um, and if there's any um, websites that try to read apostrophes and dashes as garbage characters, um, and stuff like that they'll all be taken out by by using it into uh, LibreOffice Writer. So um, that's my video on Read Please. Um, I'll go ahead and close it. Um, and I don't close LibreOffice Writer usually. I just, you know, do that and uh, um, leave the program and then I just copy something I want to read. Read Please will read a whole entire book. Um, it's a Windows program, um, and I've got it running under Wine in Linux Mint 11, and it's super. Thank you very much, and that's the end.